Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival this and we return to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now, we might be done all of the regular campaign, but with it being, well, I guess the day after Christmas and still around the holiday area, we are actually going to be doing a little bit of something interesting today. Because we have ourselves downloaded, at least, bingo. We have ourselves downloaded a Christmas campaign made by Norsemans. Now we're going to try playing and see how that is, and we also have a faction called Christmas done by Guest6777 that we're going to be using for it. So we're going to take this for a little bit of a whirl, see what it's like, and have a little bit of a fun holiday theme tabs episode. So we'll hop right into level 1 and see what we're up against. So these guys look like just basically regular elves. I have to add uh, Christmas in there. Okay, so... Let's close that. So we have Worker Elves. Oh. Uh, that's odd. Or can I not place them down? Oh, maybe they're... Okay, maybe they're locked into... They can only be used in camp... In Sandbox, so you can't use custom units here. Okay. Well, if that's the case, we can still look at dealing with a few of these levels, and then we'll... Maybe we'll do a 50-50 split. Maybe around 10 minutes of these levels and then 10 minutes of us fooling around in sandbox. So, we'll just deal with a bunch of these guys. Let's... Uh, we don't have that much really to work with, so maybe we'll just do something simple, like see how painters do against them. There we go. So, yeah, these guys basically just look like- oh, they're just halflings, basically. They're just dressed up to be looking like little elves. So, I think we should be okay here. The painters should be able to deal with them for the most part. Basically, just have to smack them with your paintbrush enough times. Yeah, there they go. Last one's just getting- Finished off there. Okay, so first level's not too bad at all. What do we got here? Looks like Snowman Skeleton Warriors. And we've got a little bit more to work with. Uh, we'll get some fencers, and you know what? I always like a good bow and arrow, so maybe we'll get a couple of archers. Yeah, we don't have that much to work with, but could we get something... Hmm... I suppose we could get a bar just to kind of lure some away. Oh, well, actually, looks like these the snowmen units here might have the ability to terrify. Yeah, that's don't go off the edge there, bud. Oh, shoot, they will go off the edge if they get too terrified. Okay, so I was not expecting them to be able to terrify our units off the edge of the map, so that's going to be something we'll have to work at... ...bettering. So I think we want more of, like, a range capability. I mean, as weird as it is, I think... Oh, actually, no, no, let's go for spear throwers. These guys are usually fairly accurate, and maybe we just need a little bit more... ...range power just to get rid of them before their terrifies can get off. I don't know where they were aiming there. Yeah, that terrify ability is pretty annoying. Uh. 
Okay, I'm gonna reset because, yeah, the Terrify... It's a very strong ability just because there aren't a lot of units that are, like, invulnerable to it in a way. You know I think we'll try a Bone Mage, though. Maybe we'll just try a couple of these guys, because if they can get their thing off, yeah, that's already those taken care of. No, well, that's not where I wanted you to have your thing ready for. Oh, well, that's all that pretty quickly. You, oh, actually, you survived. But look at that explosion there. It's kind of fun to go back and use a lot of these units that haven't really been, like, using that much. Oh, like here, this might be a perfect spot to demonstrate. Just kind of stagger them out a little bit, and then a few spear throwers, and that might be good. Yeah, like, that's it. That's good. Oh. Well, I guess he was just getting chucked in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I gotta say, this is actually pretty nicely done for a nice little level like this. I had forgotten how strong, like, some things can be, too. And I doubt I even need this much firepower, but we'll see. This might... Okay, let's try this. Three Bone Mages gonna be able to... Okay, so... Oh, just the halflings here survived. Oh, actually, there was another group over here. Didn't realize that. Ooh! Oh, yeah, we got this one. Just need... There we go. Look, just love how they blast off. It's basically... We're making it snow. We're making it snow with what these guys are doing. What do we got next? Oh, Lord. Okay, this is quite a bit more. I do think maybe a bone mage. Like, these guys are just so good at clearing out a lot of stuff that it's kind of nice to have them along. Uh-oh. Although, now that they're getting ice tossers... That's going to be a bit more difficult to deal with. Yeah, a lot more. Okay, we do have 2200, but this might be a little more difficult to deal with. Just going to... Oh, getting cold around here too, so... A little bit of sniffle anyway. Okay. So how do we want to do with this? We Again, it's not like a super large amount of points. We've got to think of what we can do strategically here. Okay, I think we're going to want something with shielding to it. Actually... You guys might make a pretty good front because you are hay balers. Maybe a ninja on each side. A monk and a samurai? We'll try this. Uh, my hope was the hay balers would be able to tank a lot of the, like, ice projectiles being tossed around. I can't for the most part, except my units are just so stupid. Yeah, if my units weren't so stupid, we probably could do this. So I'm going to do... Let's do maybe ninjas more on the insides. that freezing effect is really, really difficult to deal with. I 
Pain balers are kind of nice to start, but I need something that's a little faster with, like, range. Musketeers are too slow. You know, I am kind of thinking using the... Oh, not you. The bone mages again. Maybe get a ninja in the middle here. And try this. What did you get terrified by? Okay, yeah, I gotta admit, the terrify ability I think is a little too powerful when it's on so many cheap units like that. Because the thing is, it happened all the way up here, but I still managed to reach the ninja down here. I think if it didn't have that... No, oh, and frozen solid. Yeah, some of these abilities feel really strong for what you're going up against. Like, individually they're not bad, but the fact there's so many of them is where the issue lies with me. Because, like, you have one, two, three, four, five. So five, ten. The terrifies on the flanks. I don't... Yeah, that's just a... I'm trying to think here what would be good, but the problem, again, arises... I'm gonna try this. We'll see what this is, and then we'll probably use this as the last map before we go and try the custom units from the faction out. But yeah, it's just like the terrify on top of the ter on top of the ice tossing and that. Yeah, I think that's too much for what you're given, like, point-wise to fight against. It's not that the unit stats themselves are that strong, but it's that the volume of the abilities is just really powerful in this campaign, which is something I don't feel like smacking my head against the wall for a while, so I'm going to head back to the main menu, and we're going to go into the sandbox properly and try Farmer Snow. Okay, so here... So we've got Worker Elves. Oh, they actually have little hammers. And then Firework Crossbow Elves. A couple of Cannoneer Elves. A Walled Shield Snowman. Santa Claus. And Krampus. So that's 7690 to try going up against. So maybe what we'll do is we'll get a few Skeleton Archers at the front there. Just a few Hoplites. Now the Cannoneers might be a little troublesome, but we'll try a few Berserkers. And what else might we try? Um, ba -bum 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 -bum. Maybe we'll try a few fireworks of our own. And yeah, we'll toss Secret into this as well. And let's get ourselves... It would not be Christmas without some presents, so let's get ourselves a few of those. So we'll try this and see. Oh. Oh, jeez. There's Krampus for you. He flew right on into the middle. Oh, a couple of raptor riders! That's a Christmas present I don't mind at all. Even had a jouster in there, too. Okay, Krampus, I think, is still alive. Although I don't... S oh, no, Krampus was taken out. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything about the snowman, though. So I think we're going to have to increase the volume of presents this year. Okay, that's a little over. I don't want to use quite over, so we'll do that. Oh, so we got a Gatling gun for Christmas. And, oh, we got a Pharaoh, I guess? 
Oh lord, okay, this is going chaotic right now. Yeah, that wall is definitely something hard to get through. Oh, is Santa down for good? Oh, we at least got Santa down. Although, not quite enough. Oh, yeah, got booted through the shield. Frosty was not having any of it this year. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... It's gonna be dumb, but I just wanna see how... What if we just use the spirit of giving and see if that's able to do it? Oh! Well, we got ourselves a Zeus, which was quite the gift. Yeah, Krampus is back here caused some problems. Oh, the snow- oh, no, snowman's not down. That is quite the way to hold the lance. Ooh. Yeah, the cannoneer got a good shot there. Okay, so... Gotta think about this a bit more. I might actually want to try the Watcha with a number of Berserkers just kind of flying in there to occupy them. A few Brawlers. I actually do think I'm going to use a couple of Blunderbuss just because their armor makes them pretty tanky for some range shots. And maybe I'll even try the Pirate Queen. So let's try this out. I think that killed more of our own units than the enemy. But we'll see. Ooh, Krampus got quite a few into him. Yeah, watch out. It's an interesting idea in theory. Unfortunately, it's not really panning out in practice. Oh, I say that, though we do have the snowman taken care of. And I think that's Krampus. Yeah, Krampus is down too. Oh, year? Oh, no, didn't mean to do that. I was looking to see... Oh! Ooh. Yeah, friendly fire definitely took care of you. So the Hwacha, it can be fun toy. It's just that it doesn't play nicely with others. Okay, so let's use a... F well, I'm actually kind of surprised how little like some of the things cost. Like, Krampus seemed like a very strong unit, but... Yeah, I do like just these... The unit creator is given so much opportunity now for, like, just fun and wacky stuff. Like... You know what? I think there's one thing that we gotta do just to celebrate Christmas in full. Let's take care... Oh, no. Let's try to space these guys a little evenly. Let's just do... a fireworks show for the holiday. Basically, two firing lines going across. So, who's going to make the most of their hits? Okay, looks like Blue might not get one person with every shot. Yeah, so... Very close. Eight out of nine. But... The other one's only got seven out of nine. Although... Oh, some of you guys... Oh, no, I thought some of you guys actually... Oh! One's not enough to take him down, though. So that's very interesting. I thought this is definitely going to be more in Blue's favor because... Well, yeah, it's still heavily looking like Blue's favor. But Red is hanging in there. It's just that they can't seem to be accurate enough with their shots. Oh, 
there we go, yeah. It seemed like that first volley, because it was... 8 got hit compared to the 9. So let's also... So that was a little bit of fireworks. Let's see about a few baubles flying out and across there. Wait, where? What happened to your guys' cannons? Do, do you not start with any more other than the first three? What? What? Where? Okay, that's odd. Okay, so they are showing... Okay, they just have a small render range, weirdly enough. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm surprised Red actually won that. Okay, so the cannons will render in. It's just that I was too far out for it. So let's make this a bit more of a proper shoot-off. Five, six... Yeah, we'll do seven to seven. So who's going to get the first volley in, and who's going to be the more devastated of them? Okay, well, you're going to want to change their... God, these guys look like they're going to shoot each other more than they're actually going to get the shots off on the enemy. You, my friend, are drunk. A little bit too much eggnog. Okay, so these guys have to be pretty close in order to get their shots off from the looks of it. Okay, so there's the first one. There's one casualty. Oh, looks like a couple missed. So far, blue is shaping up to be looking pretty good. Although, there are a number of missed shots coming through, but... Yeah, red... Red's definitely been a little too heavy into the eggnog. Though, that said... It actually looks like Red might be able to pull this one out. It is two to three. Well, two to two and a half. This guy's still looking kind of drunk. Oh, yeah, Red managed to pull it off again. And that's about it for the ranged units, eh? Let's do one Santa against Santa. Who's going to be the better Santa? And we'll use this as the last battle for the episode. <laughs> Oh. Well, it's kind of hard to say who might get this. Like, the blue Santa's definitely been getting more ice procs off, but the red one seems to be getting a few more hits in. Although... Yeah, I think red's kind of messed... Yeah. Yeah, red got a little bit sorried out there. I don't know why they suddenly had it up overhead. I think that was where he's definitely lost, but just a nice little holiday episode of Tabs to keep everybody in the holly jolly spirits. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode, and if you guys have anything in the workshop you'd like to see me do or show off or what have you, let me know in the comments. I have no problems with Tabs continuing. It's just that I need guidance from you guys on if it will continue what you want to see. For now, though, thank you all for joining me on this special holiday episode of Tabs. If you do like the series or the video, be sure to give a like, and any comments, tips, tricks, or holiday wishes, be sure to leave them right down below in the comments. Until I see you all next video or episode, Survivors, please remember as always to take care, stay alive, and enjoy the happy holidays.